you said you didn't think that things were that bad until you got a call from right, Dr. Right. Phil. Hit the reset button and start over, but you don't live with your mother when you're 45. What's going on, amigos and gents? It is dull. And would you believe it or not, I actually found a person making a fool of themselves on Dr. Phil. I know, it's absurd. But there's actually a 45-year-old man who still acts like he's a teenager. Something you see every day, so let's just give it a whirl. Because you know me personally, I can never be that down bad. I'm from a family of bona fide hustlers, pretty much. My great-great-granddaddy actually sim-swapped Abraham Lincoln and finessed him out his bands. But before I do, <coughs> like and subscribe for 10 years of good luck. <coughs> oh yeah, baby, you just heard what you thought you heard. I absolutely sold out just now. But uh, yeah, you should like and subscribe. And without further ado, just enjoy the video. My 45-year-old brother lives a life of a bratty 16-year-old teenager. My brother lives at home at my mom's house in the same bedroom that he lived in in high school. Ah, yes, the most teenage bratty thing anyone can do. Drink water out of a Pepsi bottle. Listen, I know that it, it has nothing to do with it, but like... If you want to depict him being a bratty 16-year-old at heart, why is this clip you show? Why not him doing something that a bratty 16-year-old would do? I don't think I've ever seen one instance of some dad busting in on their son's room and being like, Son, are you fucking drinking water in here? D yeah, it's not what it looks like. I don't want to fucking hear it. You ain't never touched a band in your life. Get out there and work for a fucking living, damn it. Uh, no, no, dad, uh, but, uh, but, but please spank me. Oh, my fucking bad. Oh, it, wait, did you say, you mean please don't spank you, right? You heard me. Jeff is the epitome of a 45-year-old loser. Jeff is lazy, he's not motivated, and he's a moocher. Jeff takes advantage of my mom. I mean, that man's basically her shadow at this point. Looks like he's just waiting for her to die so he can, like, reach into her pockets and grab her coupons and pocket change. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, I smell a croak coming. And I mean, talk about him living the same life as high school. I'm pretty sure he left his damn hairline back in high school. Because, I mean, yeah! I mean, that poor man, he looks like the Bass Pro Shop logo. I do not have a car at this moment. Uh, I do, but they're broke down in the drive. Uh, now I try to go out at least once or twice a week. And Dude, you just said both of your cars don't work. Where the hell are you going? Are you just gonna sit in the driver's seat and manifest it moving? Yeah, sometimes I like to just sit in my car and go burr, 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 And then someday maybe it'll start. She still makes his meals, cooks, cleans, drives him everywhere, just like when we were kids. And, you know, I go hang out with my friends. Every now and then I'll smoke a joint. No, man. How are you gonna be 45 addicted to marijuana and your mother still drive you around everywhere? I'd hate to be that poor little senior citizen trying to take my 3 p.m. nap after 2 p.m. reading time. And my son just come barging in the room like, Um, hey mom, um, I wanna go smoke a joint with my friends, can you please drive me? I, I would write you into the blunt rotation, but um, we did kind of seal that with the game of Soggy Biscuit, so uh, unless you can make it squirt, I don't know if I can pass you the chief. The jobs he's had lately have been at a gas station, working at a fast food restaurant, and now working at a pizza place. These are jobs that you would expect of a 17-year-old kid, not a 45-year-old man. Honestly, just give me the address to the pizza place you work at. I'll be your mentor. Since you like manifesting your car working so bad, you can manifest some bands, buddy. I'll be your little breach angel. I'll sit on your shoulder and balance a bunch of hundred dollar bills on my dick like a trapeze act just so you know what a winning mindset looks like. Also, I was thinking about this in my head earlier today when I first watched this video. This guy's 45 year old loser hanging out with friends and smoking joints. Now you might not think anything of that, but that begs the question, is he hanging out with other 45 year old losers or is he hanging out with like really young frat guys or something? Cause I mean, if the local Domino's is also filled with a bunch of 45 year old losers that smoke weed on Friday nights, yeah, fine. But imagine just a bunch of 21 year old frat boys hanging out with this fucking dork. Uh, yeah, John back there, we found that chinless Neanderthal in the frozen goods section of 7-Eleven with his dick between two Coors Lights cans he rubber banded together. Honestly, he was just frozen toes to head, bruh. Thought we found a gay man straight out of the ice age. Tronics certification for aircraft? Mm-hmm. Well, congratulations on that. That's, um, those are very complex systems. Yeah. Um, when was the last time you used that skill? Damn, Dr. Phil wastes no time. Spends I don't know how many seconds with this absolutely beautiful tribune to all the things he's accomplished, then BAM! He's wicked smart. He just refuses to apply himself. Yeah. It Who are you and why are you wasting my sweet time interrupting me? Yeah, let's just get back to the video. I had nothing to say about her. I didn't real I honestly didn't realize how bad they were. I, I could get that if we were talking about 16 weeks or even 16 months. Right. But we're talking about 16 years. That's four presidents. This just in, Philly's a mathematician. You ain't never seen a man use a comparison like that. Dr. Phil with the analogies. 
more like a now the beast. I'm never, I'm never saying shit like that again. And I mean, you know, Obama served two terms, but uh, we'll give it to Phil. We'll give it to him. Your youngest son has never known anything other than your mom's house, ever. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Actually, I've changed my mind. Shoddy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm way too out of my league. Anyways, on with the video. You know, me and my ex were together for seven years. We uh, having troubles the last three. So we decided to get married and that made it worse. Um, yeah, I reckon I'm gonna leave it there. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good jazz. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to share with a friend because if you enjoyed it, they might also. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna try and post weekly now. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'll be able to. But once again, you should subscribe. It really is a motivating factor to help get these videos out faster, knowing that there's people that actually want to watch them. But uh, yeah, if you have any video ideas that you want me to react to, follow me on the bird or the gram. In fact, I don't even think you have to follow me to message me on those two things, but you can follow me and message me on there. But without further ado, be good people and peace out.